and those were the aggrieved voices of the bus drivers who went on to describe their current plight. The journey that usually starts from Summit or Coco Junction and Asaba Main Town to Onitsha was cut short at the Abraka Highway where all Asaba Onitsha bus drivers halted, discharging all passengers to unanimously protest against what they call an unjustifiable levy imposed on them by their unit chairman, Mr. Sylvester Ngugo. We will not need all this canteen. We will, we will suffer. The driver cannot buy slippers. You cannot wear better clothes. Your clothes go to tear. If you can't bus stop, you, you know, then no one will make you pay money. They go hold you. Tear your clothes, beat you. Do anything. All of them, they, be, they get many hours, get many uh, cars, what they use for their house. But nothing for the drivers. Some drivers don't get how to live. Some they, they live inside their moto. Year to year, you don't go make anything. And nothing you go see do. If you do finish, you go work from one to night. The conductor go, go carry 500, they go house. But national people, then they gather all the money, they shop. If you reach on the how much will they pay for the for, for a ticket, 750. For award, 1,200. Any loading, where you load? If you load 150, you pay 300. If you load 200, you pay 400. If you load 300, you pay 800. That's why they try to do us, and the, the, the way that they rule us. Every time they go say they want to go stop for the time. Men no go. Men will they sort of have matter for that side. Men, men, men they solve the issue. Every day that they put money, if they go say they want to go solve the issue for the time. But they don't, they don't they solve anything. They go, if they come back, they go, go put money. From 1,000, from 500 to 700, from 700 to 1,000. If I name measure you now, what's it that they do us now? It's very bad. Aburu people, they get their own time whether they close work. Once it's four o'clock, I will go close work. But these are Saba people that we do here till seven o'clock in the night before they close work. That we make sure waiting driver take the gain this work. Any day where you know go work, you make sure that you go you run like two trip or one trip where you go take pool gas for the next day. But why why you day you know go work? If you try the one trip, you must pay the complete ticket for this Saba people. When you reach on nature, it's not like this. Once it's one o'clock, two o'clock, you will not see on the chair, they don't close. But as our people, then we don't hear till seven o'clock. After the seven o'clock, even though say you know you know go work, say you go only two trips, you must pay that complete money, or else they will pack your motor, and which is very bad. It never reached like four months or three months where we put new chairman. We don't know as the chairman take waka, then change them for us, put us another new chairman. That one, we know they are aware of that one. Now that new chairman, I ain't just come now, come they put money for us. Say, we're going to pay 1,000 naira for tickets, which is not supposed. And now, we don't want to pay the 1,000. That's why we are doing this riot today. We need to pay 500 naira for tickets. We don't need, we don't need 1,000 naira again. We need to pay 500 naira. Both of them, both go, local government or national union, both of them 500 naira. Once they refuse, they leave it. No more tickets. Let us work our work like that. That is what I want to talk in this matter. I think I'm a driver as a bonita. If you need a limo, I to atamu, you don't want we are more battery up with Jamlaqua. Every day, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to move on in the morning. Before 10 o'clock, I'm going to turn it on. 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 My local, local government 200, task force 300 naira before. You see now, how has Melania increased? Nani gala akuzi one five. Ane jo, I be able to one one thousand naira. You know, nia, ane puteba by break. Ndi aga pamba ya melafon. Ndi ane besi tani cha down la na, la la ane ane cha botro la na. Do I send me? If ane melaha, ane melaha yot. I want ane wagu tinde. You know, now I brought my dam. Dam is not that crap for land, but is the whole ship. I went to manage your way. I went to knock out. I went to the catapult. It's a babu mado. I said, okay, better go to our own. I got it today. Can you really get it? Go down in the Bayer Rieri. And I'm going to find out my father for 500 naira. Government, they were on one. Government, they were on one. Can you want animal wine lap? Money for Hadia Marine. Carry one in a child, and then you rock like a two hundred nine as Roman Cala, as Roman Cala, two hundred. I got let the pass the different Camua Braja Hono. Ebo, dear Bolemare, eh? But this morning, I had to come away to Umeto, 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 Walker, the Berife. 
Nous sommes là, 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 nous The big, the small, the great, and the small is heavy. Imagine a bucket of garina is almost 1,000 naira. A loaf of bread that was sold for 200 naira is now 400, 450, 500 naira. People are barely, can barely feed. So I have the opinion, I am pleading on the behalf of the transport sections and the populace. Please, they should look into it. We are humans. So please look into it and see how it can be, it can be weighty and light for both the drivers because most of them are driving daily balancing. Majority, driving daily balancing. By the time the owner does not get his money back at the end of the day, he falls out with the driver, then nobody will know what's happening between the driver and the, the owner. So that's what I'm asking for the people in charge of the transport sector. They should please look into it very carefully and very passionately on the line, so that people that are working also can see breathe. However, the council chairman of Oshimili South local government, Mr. Uche Osadebe, who intervened, maintained that the increment was unnecessary and ill-timed. You, you, you don't just wake up all of a sudden, you start increasing transportation. Knowing for that it has, the thing has a multiplier effect. If you increase it, those who have gone to Onicha, as they are coming back, they are going to pay more. They have to increase whatever, they have to add it to what they have gone to Onicha to buy. And that will have another effect on the masses. So, if we must increase anything it must be a joint discussion with stakeholders and know the reason more look at the variables before it's increasing meanwhile the unit chairman mr sylvester ngogo debunked the allegation against him rather he indicted the consultant to oshim the south local government for instigating the protesters the, the, the situation on ground is being a setup from somewhere these drivers you, you are seeing are drivers whom I invited for a meeting and we deliberate over issues. These issues I'm talking about is concerning is that for their welfare, my vision for them, their complaints, their challenges on the line. And when I saw this, I now also told them my vision for them, my plans for their well-being and for their progress. They were very happy. And I told them that all these things they are saying, I can't do it with the finances available. That we need to have to, how do we source fund? Because project well-being is money. They should go for seminars, renew their driving licenses, and obtain their driving. Most of them don't have driving license. They have to obtain it. At least when they go to their seminar, they will change their behavior on the road. With and Rosef have uh, agreed that they will be coming in batches for these seminars. And all these things will cost money. So one of the projects, and my vision for them is that from now to December, I will make sure I make one person owner of a vehicle, which they were very happy. Then before one year, I make sure that I make 12 people, owners of the vehicle. And I promised them that I will renew their driving licenses, which has been expired for years. Those who don't have, I encourage them to go, to come and put their name down passport, passports, so that I will make sure that the office do driving license for them, to be a licensed driver on the road. And also, in, in terms of seminar, to, for them to be of good behavior. And, I help the society not to be a nuisance on the road. The following day, they start paying. The, unfortunately, there are some people who were absent in the meeting. We start telling them what we agree, and they were happy. They start paying. In the evening, the local government consultant that was giving a contract of that to 200 naira now called me. When I met him, he said, what is your own percentage of the that increment? I said, on what ground? He said, I'm supposed to call him for a meeting. I said, well, why should I call you for that meeting? It's okay. Let that one, put that one aside. What is your own share? 
I saw what is your mind. He said I should give him 50-50. I should give him uh, 50 50 on the equipment. I say I'm not sharing any money with you. This is a project money. This is the money we agree with the driver to work for them. He took advantage of those people who did not come meet him and hoodlums. Some conductors who are smoking Igbo at a mobile area who don't have anything to do that comes from on every morning. They not took advantage of them to ask them to stop all those buses who are on the road. So that's why they forced those people to stop working. But nobody knows. I have witnesses who are present. When they are trying to negotiate the money with me, I said no. Instead, I will share the money with you. I will tell the driver not to pay it. We don't have you don't just put no parking and you do not mark out bus stop for us. So mark out bus stop for us, then we know where we are parking. If anybody is parking out of bus stop, let him face the penalty. But all this no parking, no parking, no parking, where will you park? Even when somebody went into the filling station to buy fuel, and somebody took advantage to come down from that filling station, they say, why did that person come down from the filling station? So a lot of things is going on in this Asaba. And drivers are paying too dearly for it. That's why they're crying that I should put meeting. You are hearing us. It's for those who did not, those, those who did not attend that meeting. These are the people that organized them. And some other people who are inciting them against the executives. We are not against them. We are drivers. Before they lettered us into this office, we, we are drivers on the road. And we know their problems. We know what they encounter on the way. At a time like this, everyone should be socially responsible by ensuring that the impact of COVID-19 pandemic is alleviated and not otherwise. There is therefore the need for the state government to quickly intervene for the good of the masses. From Abraka here in Asaba Delta State, I am Rafael Obasio here reporting for Leap TV News. <laughs>